Stay tuned for the latest message excerpt from josephprince.com. Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he, when he had given thanks, can you imagine the great creator giving thanks for so little? Giving thanks for what? So little. We complain about a pain we have in another part of our body, and we don't even thank God for the 98% of our body that is well. We say, why God, why God, when God has given us more health? There are people from top to bottom, they are flat. There are people who are in hospitals, and you are not, but you have pain. Hey, I know God wants that pain out of your body as well, but start thanking God. Don't wait until everything is perfectly hunky-dory, everything is smooth, and then you start thanking God. You'll never thank God. Jesus thanked God when He didn't look at the vastness of the need. He didn't look at the littleness of the supply. He looked to God and thanked God for the little. And little became much. Come on! on. The Holy Spirit reminded us again in a future account when Jesus traversed the Sea of Galilee on the other side. It says here in verse 23, However, other boats came from Tiberias near the place where they ate bread after the Lord had given thanks. Obviously, the Father is so glad about this that the Father made the Holy Spirit write this down. The miracle happened after the Lord had given thanks. What will happen when you give thanks? Hey, we give thanks to the Lord. But why did the Lord give thanks? He is the Lord Himself. He's showing us how we need to receive a miracle. Whether it's a miracle of provision, a miracle of healing, a miracle of uh, 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 a parenting for your child, a miracle in your marriage where you turn the water into wine. Amen. And a miracle for your mind. Your mind is all over the place. Even when I'm speaking speaking just now, you, you cannot concentrate. That is a mind under the influence of demonic powers. They're not inside you. They're targeting. If you're always distracted, remember this. It's the work of the enemy. When Jesus came to the house, can you imagine? The guest of all guests was in their living room. Martha was busy, and the Bible says she was much distracted. The word much distracted is there. How can you be much distracted when there's only one to look at? Why worry about food when he can multiply loaves and fish? And that's why he appreciated what her sister did, sit at his feet and listen to his word. Jesus took the loaves and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to the disciples. And so he broke it, took the loaves, he broke it, and he gave it to the disciples. Now, I like Mark's account, Mark 6, 41. In Mark's account, it says, when he had taken the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven, blessed or gave thanks, and broke the loaves, gave them to his disciples to set before them, and the two fish he divided among them all. This word, gave them to his disciples gave them to his disciples. In John's account, it does not uh, portray it that way, but in Mark's account, it is actually in the indefinite tense. All right, which means what? He kept on giving. He kept on giving. Jesus, it multiplied in Jesus' hands because he kept on giving. Only five loaves, how can you keep on giving? Right? He kept on giving. He kept on giving. So the, the disciples will take the basket, by the way, The basket here is the word, uh, there are two Greek words for baskets, two types of basket. One is a hamper basket. One is a picnic, uh, like a picnic basket, a hand, a wicker basket. You know what's that? Like you put uh, bananas and fruits and all that. Now, the miracle of the five loaves and two two fish here is the wicker basket, all right? The small basket, the picnic basket. Are you with me so far? So many disciples come to Jesus and they brought this small basket and Jesus put bread. They go down the row, distribute, and they have to come back to him again. We always come back to him. You can't say, well, well, I, I did what Pastor Prince. Last week, I went to pray and I bought different. You always come back to him for fresh supply. And they never come back empty. <laughs> His hands are always full. This excerpt is brought to you by josephprince.com. To get the full message, visit josephprince.com.